with a new art lesson, of course. So today, we are going to make a collage of something beautiful. Hmm, what should it be? Can you guess what it is? I hope you said sunflower, right? I only have these big, beautiful sunflowers up here. So yes, we are going to make a collage of a sunflower. So if you're wondering, a collage is when you take different, different things and you glue them together to create one piece of art. And that's what we're going to do today. In this video, I am going to show you how I took different pieces of scrap paper and created a beautiful piece of art that's a sunflower. Now you are not going to have the exact paper that Miss Fortenberry had today, and that is the point. I want you to use what you have. So if you have colorful construction paper, you can use colorful construction paper. If you have pattern paper, you can use that. If you don't, that's okay. You're gonna create something amazing. You can use any thing to create this sunflower. So um, it could be, I don't know, coffee grounds for the brown part of the sunflower, the center of the sunflower. It could be um, beans, it could be rice, it could be ground up leaves, it could be paper. Your leaves are, I'm sorry, your petals, your petals are yellow. There are a lot of beautiful petals. Note the shape of them and how they're layered together. So you need something yellow. It could be paper. It could be tissue paper. It could be painted paper. It could be ribbon. It could be yarn. It could be fabric. Um, the stem and the leaves are green, right? So you need to make your stem out, out of something green paper, painted paper, colored paper. It could be um, grass, right? So it could be ribbon. You decide you are going to make a sunflower and it's going to be a collage. So that means you need to take things and glue them down. You're not drawing it and it's gonna be awesome. So I hope you guys have fun with this project. I know I did. And I had a really great excuse to buy myself some flowers so I could put some sunflowers in this video. So let's take a look at how I created my sunflower and I cannot wait to see how you create yours. So get creative and have fun with this. For my background, I chose a dark blue piece of cardstock. And for the flower parts, I just dug and dug in my scrap paper drawer and I found a bunch of greens and yellows, blacks and browns, the colors of the sunflower. And I'm going to use all these fun scrapbooking scrap papers that I have. The first thing you want to start with is the center of your flower. You decide if it's going to be a whole flower or just a part of the flower. I'm doing part of the flower in the top corner. I'm just gluing little uh, pieces of torn black and brown paper and just randomly gluing them down to be the center of the flower in the corner. And then the, all the next steps, I want you to tear your papers and don't glue them down until you see exactly where you want it and how it looks. So that way, you are planning ahead before you glue. And I'm just tearing a lot of different um, patterns and shades of yellow for my petals. And then I am going to tear my patterned green paper for my stem and glue the stem down first before you glue the petals down. So that's very important. Make sure you glue that stem down first and then just start gluing. You choose if you wanna tear the paper like I did or cut it. So um, make sure that you have a lots of layers. See how I'm layering them? That gives it really nice depth to your flower. And also make sure you're gluing really well so that when it dries, your pieces don't fall off. Uh, you might choose to use some of your paper where the ends aren't glued down so they could curl up. That's another idea. You could use fabric for this step. You could use ribbon. You could use actual petals of some of your, uh, if you have sunflowers at home. Um, you could use painted paper, colored paper. If you don't um, have like this fancy scrapbooking paper that I have, you don't have to have the same supplies as I do to create your sunflower. 
And then don't forget those leaves. Sunflowers have lots of pretty green leaves. So I am tearing some paper and adding my leaves. And I am really loving this whimsical sunflower collage. I cannot wait to see how you guys create your sunflowers.